right, man. I know I ain't see Benzino out here crying on Drink Champs over Eminem beef. And I think it was more about his daughter and shit, man. Um, for what I understand, allegedly, his uh, the mother of Corey LeRae, fine ass, by the way. I know a lot of y'all say they, you know, y'all girls got to be too something to do something. Fuck all that. I like the thin chicks too. But, um, um, but uh he broke down crying about the beef over Eminem. Now, my thing is this this you know, this beef is deeper than what people know. Okay. It involves 50 Cent being in here because Benzino and, and you know when the source they rolled with Ja Rule and uh they rolled with Ja Rule and uh Murder Inc. and the 50 Cent beef. And then they probably, you know, roll with them because they was beef with them. And then when I read that Benzino, I forget what album it was. Uh, he admitted that they were giving out rap albums uh, ratings. And, you know, they was known for like five star, four star, three star mics. And sometimes they went back in retrospect and gave albums like The Chronic five mics when they didn't originally give them five mics. But when I heard him say, that he was giving reviews and they were giving reviews on certain rap albums when they hadn't listened to them. That's all I need to know right then and there. Reckless journalism. That's exactly what that's called. Reckless journalism. You know, exactly what that's called. That's reckless journalism. So Eminem had a gripe. What enhanced the gripe what enhanced the gripe was when, you know, they got involved in the 50 Cent Ja Rule beef and they took, you know, Irv Gotti and them side because they thought they was going to get the W. All right. So for years, you know, he crying and saying, we could have just talked it out. You had over 20 years to talk it out. Y'all never sat down and talked it out. Now, Benzino is a real street dude. Don't get it twisted. Benzino's a real street guy. Eminem is not a real street guy. But when you admit to assassinating your own journalistic integrity, which he did by not by giving ratings without listening to, to the album, that's all you need to know right then and there. And he said in a recent Dream Champ interview when he talked about the archival Arc rival Eminem in the clip since he uh, responded, people are calling to explain what caused the tears. He said, I had so much built up anger, frustration, evil built up inside of me. Not going to lie. Minus the alcohol, I needed the ish. It really helped me. He wrote on Instagram. And a lot of guys need it. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. A lot of guys. And I know a lot of people say, I don't like that, Nori. Keep the weed and get the alcohol there. And get guys vulnerable and all that type shit. Um, yeah, you know, they got a lot of good alcohol there too. And when you're drinking good alcohol, the shit tastes good. And you, before you know it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you crying your tears out, you know, but he said, he, he said he needed that release. He said he needed that release. And a lot of guys do. And I think, and I, you know, this is just my opinion, and you know, some of y'all may disagree. I wish that we could open up, to, to open up to the women of our lives about, you know, you know what we what we going through in a traumatic experience because women do that shit to you out the blue. You know, women will do that shit to you out the blue, and people say, "What do you mean?" Like, you know, I had women tell me about their experiences. You know, that they, oh, this happened to me out the blue, and. And yeah, I went through this and that. And you got to sit there and be an emotional fucking support animal. But don't nobody do that for men. And then, you know, people say therapy, but you got to have the right therapist. And I met some of these female therapists, man, because I dated a few of them, right? And it seemed like it's a bunch of uh, single black female therapists, right? And I ain't saying they all wrong. I know some cool ass ones that that's cool as hell, you know, and they got some bread too, you know what I'm saying? But it just seemed like there's a lot of black women are getting into that, that field. And they be having things on 
going on with them that they be needing to release as well, too. But, guys, you got to let it out, man. I don't know. Get your dog. Talk to the dog. I don't. I don't know what it is. We just hold shit in. I think if we just went on the lake, went on the water, went fishing by ourselves, and just just let it out. But I feel them, dog. I ain't seen her laughing at that man because I done been through some shit, man. Pent it up for for twenty some thirty years, and it all came out as one. Once, and I'm looked at as the bad guy. No, remember D Ray opened up about how his mother friends they they. They they did something to him when he was younger, just to uh, speak speak on code. Speaking code. And niggas laughed at him, bro. It was women and men laughing at him. Dudes go through things, bro. And you wish you could open up to the to, to your wife or to your girlfriend. And and they wouldn't weapon you wouldn't weaponize that shit against you. You wish you honestly could, bro. You know. Because I think he was dealing with a lot of things with his daughter because he turned around and basically said he took care of his daughter and the mama turned turned uh turned the daughter against him. Yep, he said the mama turned the daughter against him. And you know, women can do that no matter if they crack kids, they wasn't there. There's that connection they got with the kids. This is why a lot of dudes just not choosing to be parents no more because. No matter how you play it, you've seen as the evil one. I done had uh, dudes I talked to that fall for their kids and foster care because, you know, you got to be a terrible woman. If you're a terrible woman, there's two things happen to you. You lose your kids to the system. That's damn near impossible. And then the second one, in my opinion, is if uh, a dude uh, break up with you. Like, y'all in a real relationship and a dude break up with you, you're a terrible woman. A lot of men don't walk away from, from women. Like, just say, I'm done. They'd rather get caught cheating. And make you walk away, you know. But he was talking about that and how she turned in your and a, and a mother can't turn the kids against you. They don't care about what your side of the story was until they be get mature enough and come ask. And I know homies that got mature enough that ask they that that never even wanted to speak to the pops. That didn't even want to hear his side of the story. And I don't really think that's fair. But you know what? It's not my place to tell them that. He said, "I see a lot of people laughing at Benzino crying." I don't find it funny at all. I've seen killers get emotional, start breaking down in tears. The message reads, crying, don't make uh, you weak. Crying is just a human emotion. Don't ever get it twisted, Ninja. You will cry before your shit get pushed back. Um, so uh, I don't know who worse was that. Let's see, because all this shit put up. So somebody said that. Zeno responds to the can, uh, to the kind words. Love you, bros. A random, random guy on Instagram. Yeah, sounds about right. He right. You will cry. I mean, my granddad was the toughest nigga in the world, bro. And he had a back injury and shit. They didn't want to be in the old folks' home and shit. And I seen him cry. I was like, damn, it's the toughest nigga in the world. So, yes, yeah, yeah, man, he right about that. You know, but I'm tired of seeing ninjas cry on camera, though. So many niggas crying and all this shit, man. And I just think about it. It's all the shit he going through. I don't think it's per se Eminem, but, you know, if y'all was supposed to, y'all should have talked it out years ago, bro. You know, a lot of y'all got caught up in a lot of bullshit. You know, I think it's just a mortal beef at this point. But that alcohol set the table. But, you know, I think, you know, everything happened for a reason. He needed to release it. I don't look at him as any less of a, less of a, of a man. Because I think all dudes need to release it. And if you got a good woman by your side or you got good people in your corner, good counsel that lets you, you know, let out your frustrations and don't judge you for it. I mean, keep them people in your circle, bro. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the music entertainment playlist, hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.